Okay, so in today's video, what's going to take place is I will be cooking dinner. So I thought it would be nice to offer to cook dinner for my wife and kids. Only problem is, is tonight is spaghetti night and I've never made spaghetti in my life. I've cooked noodles before, ramen noodles, but not spaghetti noodles. Um, but we'll see how it turns out. Um, I'm a little nervous because my wife kind of seasons it a certain way and I don't want to over season it or under season it. And spaghetti is one of our big meals that we have because usually we eat leftovers the next day. So if I mess this up, it's kind of like I messed up two meals. So. Um, it'll be a double mess up and I don't want that to happen. So I think I got everything out that she normally does. Um, obviously spaghetti noodles, obviously. Um, there's garlic powder and Italian seasoning. I believe that's what she puts in the meat. Uh, so I got two things gonna be happening here. I'm gonna be cooking the meat and season it. Uh, then of course I gotta drain the meat. And while I'm doing that, I'm boiling water and cooking the noodles. And then also we got this uh, ragu uh, spaghetti sauce. It doesn't say spaghetti sauce, it just says traditional. But I'm assuming this is spaghetti sauce. I found it in the pantry, so I'm just assuming that's what it is. Um, but I'm gonna try to whip this up and see how it turns out. So let's get started. So let's get that going. A little bit of extra virgin olive oil. Okay, can't just have virgin. It's gotta be extra virgin. <laughs> I don't know what the difference is, but whoa, that was a lot of olive oil. I think that works though. I, I'm sure it will cook down. It'll be fine, I think. Uh, okay. Come on now. Get it all oiled up. Oil in the pan up. So let's take this vacuum sealed glob of hamburger meat and just throw it in the pot. I'm assuming this is what you do. But you're looking at me a certain way because you're probably thinking, what, what, what do you do differently? No, go. Oh, okay. You can see my eyes. I, I can just tell from your body language. Oh, no, you're doing it. Okay. I, All right. I think I was looking at you that way because you called it a pot, what? but it's a pan. Go ahead. I think that's why I was looking at you. <laughs> I called it a pot? Yeah, a pot. Did I? Mm -hmm. I'll have to look back at the footage to see if I messed up. <laughs> I don't think I called it a pot. Okay. I might have called it a pot. It's okay. Cabinet. We have video evidence, so I can't really deny Cabinets, it. Cabinets, drawers, you know, they're all the same. Whatever. Whatever. All right, so while that's going on, uh, yeah, while that's going on, you got to fill this up with water and start boiling water. So. You always say I can't do two things at once, but one thing. <laughs> we'll probably speed this clip up. It's taking a while to fill up the water. <laughs> I think that's good. Maybe. I'm thinking you just fill it up maybe halfway. I'm assuming. Because I'm guessing you break the noodles up. I believe I've seen her do that. This is going. It's kind of making me nervous. And I got this little uh, uh, masher. Uh, to me, this seems like something you would make mashed potatoes with. But uh, I've seen Ashley use this to mash up the meat and stuff, so I figure I'd be fancy and uh, use it as well. So It does work. It's mashing the meat up. We'll see. I really think I poured too much olive oil on here, so I'm kind of regretting what I just did, but 
Uh, maybe it will kind of chill out a little bit. But a uh, little olive oil didn't hurt nobody. that okay this is going that's going I feel like I need some help let's see <laughs> hold on I'm not gonna throw the noodles in there until it starts boiling right <laughs> yeah okay I'm that's what I, that's what I was assuming okay um this I don't have to do anything with right now. The question is, do I season the meat now? And I think I do. I think I season the meat now. Um, yes, I'll do that. Okay, so let me squish this meat some more. <laughs> Let's squish it. Squish it. Squish it. A lot of oil. All of oil. Is it? Um, well, the meat itself puts off some oil, but it's okay. Okay. You're doing this a great is job. a new new spaghetti recipe. It's gonna be oily good. spaghetti. It's passed down from generation to generation, starting with my generation. <laughs> starting with my generation. Oily spaghetti. Okay, so let's go with that, and then, <sighs> do you want a lot of seasoning, not a lot of seasoning, let's see, I don't really know how she does it, let's kind of coat this a little bit, I think that probably is good enough, maybe, let's throw some Italian seasoning in there. I can cook stuff. I just dropped some <laughs> for me. Would it be sanitary to throw it back into the pot or the pan? I did say pot. Gosh. Okay, I'm throwing it back in there. I just call it a pot. What a moron. I am, I'm dumb. This is a pan. Cooking in a pan. Cooking in a pan. <laughs> Ryder's gonna love my oily spaghetti. He is. This He'll is his eat favorite meal. He's like a dog. He'll eat throw up. He probably smells the spaghetti. He was taking a nap. But the smell of this awesome oily spaghetti. I can't even smell it. Yeah, I can't. I can't smell it. This is such an encouraging house. Like everybody's so encouraging in this house. My kids encourage me. My wife encouraged me as yeah, she laughs know, behind so the nice. camera. While I'm cooking. I'm so nice. Uh, I'm gonna season it a little more. Can't go wrong with a little more seasoning. Yes, I, I think. So, I mean, if I over season it, it's just gonna be oily. What was that? It's gonna be uh, oily and garlicky, right? So, doesn't that sound great? Oily and garlicky spaghetti. Look at this. How long does it take for water to boil? It's taking forever. I see why Ashley likes to use this. Because, like, if I say something, you know, she's like, oh, Nick! I never have time alone! My kids! Ah! I need a date night. Urgh. I wish my husband loved Christmas. I need my Christmas tree up now. Oh yeah. You smell it? It's okay, babe. You want to get a whiff? You want to <laughs> no, get a whiff? I'm good right now. You want to get a whiff? I'm good. Okay. Okay. So I don't need this anymore, and I don't need this anymore. I hope I season it enough. 
I love that you're clean as you go. You know, I'm a clean person. I'll tell you what, I think that extra oil made it even better. It ain't sticking to the pan at all. Like this meat thought about sticking to the pan, but it's like, woo, it's like slip and slide. Oil all over the place. Uh, oily, garlicky spaghetti. All right, so I think the meat is basically on the verge. I mean, it's basically done, I think. There's bubbles in the water. So I think because it's starting to bubble, I'm gonna go ahead and put the spaghetti noodles in. But before I do that, I'm going to drain the hamburger meat. Look at there. Okay. So. <laughs> yeah. I think it's draining out all that oil that was down at the bottom. Wow. Okay. The meat's done. It's resting after being cooked. And now we're going to put the spaghetti noodles in the pot. The question is, hey, what's up, right, man? The question is, do I just throw the noodles in or do I break them in half? Um, I'm assuming we break them in half just so they can kind of get submerged a little better. I, uh, okay. <laughs> I'm guessing maybe a handful at a time. You can just throw them in if you so, want to. So, I'm gonna do this and... Meat's done, noodles are boiling, and really, that's all I'm waiting on. Because I believe all I need to do is cook the noodles. Once they're cooked, we'll drain the noodles, add the meat, and then add the sauce, which it's come to my attention that the sauce is traditional, but it's now with olive oil, <laughs> which isn't a good thing because I bathe the meat in olive oil and the sauce itself now with olive oil. So uh, we're going to be all oiled up. So uh, our bowels should oh be great gosh. because all that oil will just slide on out. Um, so, um, hopefully that works out for us. Those are very, very tender now. I like my noodles like I like my wife. Very, very tender. Okay. And so, what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the heat off, which I've done. And I'm going to go ahead and drain the noodles. And then we're going to mix it all together. And it's going to be fantastic. Let's drain these noodles. That is very hot. Why is it hot? It's got rubber sides on it. I don't know. Is it normally that hot? Yeah, it gets hot. And you just use your bare hands? Yeah, you can use oven mitts. Do you use bare hands? Yes, yeah, I don't want to look like a pansy. I usually do, but it's okay. You can use oven You were mitts. supposed to say you use <laughs> oven mitts in that point. We're going to have to edit that out. Gosh, this is hot. Look at the oven mitts. I use oven mitts sometimes. <laughs> Good save, babe. Our daughter doesn't really care too much for spaghetti. She likes the noodles, but we'll put Alfredo sauce on it and she'll eat it like that. So we sit that off to the side, okay? So if I was a cook at a restaurant, this is where I would get a special ticket and somebody would be like, they want spaghetti, but they don't want the red sauce and they don't want the meat in there. And then I would get ticked off, obviously, <laughs> if I was the main cook. But because she's my daughter, I'm okay with it. We're gonna scrape this meat on in there. Which, there we go. And although I've drained this meat, you can tell the pan is super, super oily. Which is good for this uh, spaghetti that I'm making. Which is oily spaghetti. So I got that. Now I'm assuming I dumped the whole thing in there. Um, I don't believe she ever has a, any left over, so I'm just going to dump the whole thing, so it might get really saucy. Um, I don't know, whatever. I think
think it just splashed me in the <laughs> face. Is there sauce on my face? <laughs> I feel like something hit me in the eye. Yeah, there's some on your nose, I think, oh, too. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, there's some right there. Okay. <laughs> well, anyways. Uh, Keep pouring, come on. Okay. <laughs> Probably shouldn't have went so high up to pour it in, you know? Probably should have went a little lower to pour it in. So, once everything's cooked, I mean, it's as simple as just mixing it all together, really. So, I'm basically done. Normally, Ashley makes, like, garlic bread with this, but didn't want to put too much on my plate tonight, you know? I mean, spaghetti's enough, so... Um, we're gonna have some buttered toast or something <laughs> with this. Um, and uh, maybe I'll sprinkle some garlic seasoning on it and call it garlic bread. Okay, this isn't really the taste test, but Madison, how does the noodles taste? Hey, noodles. Yeah. Noodles. Yeah. They taste like noodles. They taste like noodles. Mm -hmm. They don't taste special. Not really. Do they taste worse, better, or the same as normal? Well, I was choking on a lot of them actually. Okay, we need to stop this videoing. We got Jacob doing the taste test. He puts ranch in his spaghetti, which I think is very, very weird. But Ashley does the same thing, so. Um, which makes her weird too. Jeremiah's got some spaghetti. So, I put cheese in it too. Yeah, I like the cheese too. So we put the shredded mozzarella in there. Well, I think cheese is weird. Okay, let's see. Jeremiah's taking a little bite. Chomping pretty loud. Ew. Must mean it's good. No. All right, Jeremiah, what do you think? Be honest. Really? You don't like it? Compared to normal? He's lying. You like it? Does it taste any different? Ryder, good God, son. You're gonna get a bowl. Just relax. This is a little bit different. But does it taste better? No. No. Bud, that was the time. I, could, I would've gave you five bucks if you would've said yes. Oh, yes. No, too late. What do you think, Jacob? Good? Are you sure? <laughs> Why is everybody staring at mom when they're answering the questions? Because her face expressions. Is it good? Is it better than mine or is dad's? They're the same. They're the same? Okay, that's good. I'll take that answer. I did make the spaghetti. I made those noodles too. I'm surprised you didn't burn the spaghetti. I put my heart and soul into the spaghetti. He did. He burned popcorn. Exactly. Yes, popcorn. Yeah. No, not yesterday. Good call, Jeremiah. Yeah. You don't even know what day it is. No, it was, uh... Just eat your noodles. Okay. <laughs> so after all is said and done, the kids yeah. they seem to like it, and there's not yeah. much of a difference. The big yeah. test is not going to be him because he'll like anything. It's gonna be this lady right here. I'm sure it'll be fine. Well, Dad's gonna say that it's really just because it's his uncle. I hope it's gonna be fine. Dad. All right, babe. Here's the true test, guys. Spaghetti's done. She's put her ranch in there, her grated cheese, and all that. So let's do it. That's a pretty big bite. I like the commitment, babe. I mean, if it was horrible, that would have been a horrible experience right there. What you think? It's not bad. Let me get it without the ranch. Oh. Okay. Still feeling confident. However, that bite wasn't as big. What you think? Because a lot of it already has ranch on it. That's why. Oh, okay. Ranch. It's actually pretty good, babe. Good Is job. it? Yeah. Time to test it out, bud. Hmm. You know what? This is almost 
as good as when all of my kids were birthed in our wedding day. I mean, this is really good. And I'm not just saying that because I feel It makes me want spaghetti as my meal every night. Like, now spaghetti is my favorite meal. Well, good. You can start cooking it. Mm, now that I'm taking a second bite, I start to taste the oil. Maybe not as good. You know, maybe we can only have it maybe once a month or something like that. I'll cook it. <laughs> I'm about to choke. It is good though. Um, I may have uh, should have seasoned it a little more. But other than that, I think it's pretty good. It doesn't taste too much different from yours. Yours is seasoned more, I will say that. But I think it was a success. You think it was a success? I think so, babe. I think it was really good. Well, good. I'm not going to cook more just because of this. Hopefully you guys enjoyed coming along the ride with me. It was a success. My kids liked it. My wife liked it. I like it, and so this might make me cook more. Probably not, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure that you hit the like button uh, on your way out. Also, if you're not a subscriber of our channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Also, you can turn on the bell for your live notifications so you can always get notified whenever we put a new video out there, whether it's cooking, whether it's cleaning, whether it's God knows what Ashley wants me to do or the family to do. Who knows? Um, but other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. We'll see you on the next one. See ya.